Uh-huh. I had gone to visit a cathode company in China. Okay. And they said, look, uh, five years old. Hmm. He says, we are now shutting down the factory. We built a new factory in another province. Mm-hmm. I said, but uh, the factory looks perfect. Why are you shutting down? Mm-hmm. He says, look, five years ago, I promised this investment. Mm-hmm. I got I got all this land free. I got the buildings free. Mm-hmm. I got half power rate, half payroll paid. <laughs> right? Now it's run out. Mm-hmm. Now I'm no longer competitive. Oh. I've gone and signed up with a new province and built a new factory. Oh. And a more efficient factory also because yeah. furnaces have long, become longer Equipment mm-hmm. sizing is better. Mm-hmm. I said, but what happens to this investment? Yeah. So you move on. So that growth is also happening that way. And that's why overcapacity also comes up. Yeah. But that that vision mm-hmm. to come down and everything percolates and especially there's a lot of risk capital. Yeah. In India, like there's no that risk appetite is not yeah. there. A bank will not fund you. Mm-hmm. So if I'm a startup yeah. and I want hundred crores, yeah. it's very difficult. Mm-hmm. That's unfortunate in India. You need much more risk capital in this whole industry, mm-hmm. whether recycling or battery materials or cell making, mm-hmm. it needs a lot of capital. Unfortunately, there are a lot of failures, Yeah, you know, but uh, it needs risk capital and credit has to go to the people who at least tried. Right, right. Vikram, how is your recycling uh, plant linked with the entire strategy? I just wanted to know a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. I look at every core business 